One place where related rates has a really important role to play is in mathematical medicine. And what could be more important than the study of cancer? In this example, we have a tumor. It's a spherical tumor, and it's growing at a rate of 0.2 millimeters per day, and its size is 8 millimeters, so it's not that big at this point. And the question asks us to evaluate what the growth rate of the tumor volume is. So we need to relate the volume to the radius. And this is the formula between volume and radius. Volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And so if we want to get the rate of change of volume with respect to time, we can write dv dt. And this would be dv dr times dr dt. And dv dr comes from, we can use this formula here for that. So that's the derivative with respect to r of 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then we're multiplying through by dr dt. And we can pull out the constants, 4 thirds pi. And then we're going to write 3 r squared, and then times dr dt. The threes cancel nicely. And so we get 4 pi times the radius squared times dr dt. And the case we're looking at here is when the radius is equal to 8. So r is equal to 8. And the rate of change of the radius is equal to 0 0.2. So for the case given, we have dv dt is equal to 4 pi times 8 squared times 0 0.2. And that would be in cubic millimeters per day. And so if we look at the numerator, that's 4 times 64 times 0.2. So we'll write that as 4 times 64 is 256 and divided by 5 times pi millimeters cubed per day. And that turns out to be somewhere around 160 cubic millimeters a day. So that sounds like a lot more than the radius, which was 0.2 millimeters a day. And so we can see this tumor is growing in a measurable way in the, in the three dimensions as well as in the, in the radial dimension.